The next dish I'm going to cook is a very simple dish, very quick and very delicious, filled with flavour. This is a perfect dish to do on the barbecue. It's steak, grilled in the pan with wild mushrooms, and we make a paste, a seasoning paste, with powdered morels or with porcini, whatever you can find. To make the wild mushroom paste, very simple, one beef stock cube, a little oil, take some powdered wild mushroom, we make our seasoning paste. It would be pointless to use fresh mushrooms in the paste because they would lack flavour. Dried mushrooms, the intensity of them and flavour is enormous. And what we do is massage our seasoning paste with the wild mushrooms into the meat so it's filled with flavour. Paste side down, then massage the paste into the side that's facing which hasn't yet been seasoned. Grilling steaks on a griddle pan has to be one of the very best ways of cooking a steak. It's very tender, it's not so aggressive as a pan. Now, our mushrooms. Very simple. Today I'm using oyster mushrooms. A little bit of oil. Massage the oil in. Onto the grill pan they go. So now we have the steak and the mushrooms cooking together. The secret of grilling with the griddle pan is make sure your pan is really hot. If it's not hot, you increase the chances of whatever you place onto it sticking. You should treat a griddle pan exactly the same way you barbecue something. Turn our mushrooms. So as you can see now, I've turned the gas off the mushrooms and off the steak. So then it will now continue to cook in the heat which is within the pan. By cooking mushrooms, it intensifies the flavour because it takes out the water content within the mushroom. And that's what gives those mushrooms that really strong flavour. So think of a mushroom which has been dried, it's even more intensified. When you make your seasoning paste with beef stock cube, what it does is it gives the beef that real beefy flavour. Because unfortunately a lot of the beef we buy today isn't hung sufficiently. It's quite tasteless. So therefore what you are doing is putting the flavour back into the beef. It's a very clever trick, turning the gas off and allowing your meat to continue to cook but rest at the same time so it's nice and hot. If you cook it all the way through and then rest it, the problem with that is it's continuing to cook. It's also starting to go cold. So I do everything within the pan. So you can start to see the blood starting to pierce the surface. So I know that is medium rare. Arrange your mushrooms on the platter so when we sit the beef on, the mushrooms now start to absorb the juices of the beef. So there's our steak with mushrooms. Tiny bit of olive oil and a little bit of parsley to finish. Parsley, mushrooms, parsley steak work deliciously well together. Dried mushrooms, in my opinion, should be in everybody's kitchen cupboard. They're fabulous things. One, for making pastes. Two, for seasoning sauces. Three, fantastic in pies and stews.